doubt you know by now that Fair St. Louis will once again be in Forest Park. So we asked our On STL team to come up with the best plan to get in and out of the fair with the least amount of stress. Anina? Thanks, Sherry. After extensive research, we think we have a foolproof plan to get you and your family safely to Forest. Oh, thank you. Uh, to Forest Park for Fair of St. Louis and back home, as stress-free as possible. Right. So even this last minute, the information is being updated. All right. So we're making a last-minute change to Airport Terminal B. All right. So here's the plan. No matter where you live, first park at Lambert Airport at the Comfort Inn. Oh, excuse me, the Quality Inn on Natural Bridge. But you had to book it through Way.com to get the $3.99 daily rate. And then when you get there, take the free shuttle to the airport terminal B. Uh, wait, why did we switch it to airport terminal B? Uh, because terminal B will have less air traffic over the holiday weekend, so we thought that'd be better. Okay, smart. All right, so from there, you're going to pick up the Metro Link, but don't take it to the Forest Park stop because everyone's going to be getting off there. It's going to be super congested. Instead, take it to the UMSL campus stop. Wait, North Campus or South Campus, guys? South Campus. All right, South Campus stop. There you go. All right. Then, at the South Campus stop, you're going to rent a Wii car, which is like Zip car, and drive to Washington University campus, where you can park your Wii car in their lot. From there, you can take the shuttle, and you go to the shuttle stop, and go to the fair. Allow yourself about two hours in each direction. Uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, yeah, I just want to think this is important that this whole thing was uh, planned out by the fair uh, St. Louis officials in collaboration with St. Louis Metropolitan Police, MoDOT, the City Streets Department, and Parks Department, and Metro Trans traffic, uh, Metro Transit. But uh, we skipped all that because it'll be way too crowded. Yeah, yeah, this plan's way better. All right, there you have it. Back to you, Sherry. I may be blonde, but you could just pay $20 and park at one of the many parking lots right in Forest Park. Well, huh. I yeah, mean, yeah, I, I, I guess. guess. I didn't think of that one. That's a good plan. Yeah. There will be lots of music not in Forest Park this weekend, too. So let's check in with Cat Muse to find out who's playing where over the holiday. Thanks, Sherry. Friday, start your weekend right with the smooth jazz stylings of my favorite crooner, Joe Mancuso and Adam Manis at the Chase Park Plaza. And Stephen D. Hunt's one-man, five-piece band is on the main stage at LeCleve's Lane. And you've got to check this guy out. He's Death awesome. Anthony Gomes is back from his world tour, and he will be thrilling us at Cyborgs on Dorset. And our own Brad No is doing a double header this weekend, Friday and Saturday night at the Salt Creek Brewery. King Kong is back to rock Charlotte Pub, so come and see Sammy in captivity. Check out my blog at onstl.com and hit me up on Facebook. Get out and support local music and have a great weekend. If you were watching the Cardinals Philly series a few weeks ago, you might have gotten a glimpse of the Cardinals Rally Squirrel. Remember him? We asked on STL pretend sports reporter Jacob to find out what the Rally Squirrel has been up to since his 15 minutes of fame back in 2011. For those of you who've lived under rocks or in Cleveland during the past few years and haven't had internet, the Rally Squirrel is a squirrel that propelled the Cardinals to victory during the 2011 playoffs. And it returned this past month to lead the Cardinals to victory over the Phillies, which begs the question, where has the Rally Squirrel been? The Squirrel clearly has some sort of connection to the Cardinals, and in light of some previously reported facts, it has become clear that the Rally Squirrel hacked into the Houston Astros databases in an attempt to get back at Jeff Luno, who unfairly stole the Rally Squirrel's thunder and took credit for the Cardinals' victories. But it doesn't stop there. There are rumors that Rally Squirrel also deflated Patriots footballs in an attempt to get back at the team for cheating against the Rams in the 2002 Super Bowl, and he sabotaged blood work done on Lance Armstrong after the Squirrel's sister got sick from eating a Livestrong bracelet. So, even though we haven't had that many sightings of the Cardinals' Rally Squirrel since 2011, he's been very busy behind the scenes. But at least we haven't had to endure more embarrassing Rally Squirrel stories like this one. Back to you, Sherry. <laughs> and now with the free stuff, here's Anina with Free St. Louis. Hey St. Louis, 4th of July is this weekend. So there are a lot of fun and free activities going on. But before I tell you about those, I want to tell you about First Fridays, which is happening from 5 to 9 p.m. in the Grand Center this Friday, where all of the galleries and museums are open and free till 9 p.m. Along with that is the Grand Center Theater Crawl, happening from 6 to 9 p.m., where every half hour you'll stroll to a different Grand Center venue for a short show from some of your favorite St. Louis theater companies. And there'll be prizes. Now to the 4th of July celebrations! 
First off is the Heritage and Freedom Festival, happening the 2nd through the 4th in Ozzy Smith Sports Complex, where Smash Mouth will be performing. There will also be carnival rides, games, foods and drinks, other music, two nights of fireworks, a kids zone, and a parade on July 4th. Also the 2nd through the 4th is Riverfest, happening in Frontier Park, where there will be more carnival games, balloon art, a bubble bus, live music, a parade on Saturday at 10 a.m., and fireworks displays both Friday and Saturday at 9.20 p.m. And then, of course, there's Fair St. Louis, which is happening July 2nd through the 4th, with Cool and the Gang performing, as well as all other kinds of activities and performances. This is all happening in Forest Park on Art Hill. To check out all of the events happening this week in St. Louis, you can see my page at onstl.com. Have a fun and free week, St. Louis, and a happy 4th of July! Today's music is Midnight Zone by Miss Molly Sims, who will be at the bootleg at Atomic Cowboy on July 4th for the Clown Viz Presley Candy Cola Explosion, where Clown Viz will end the show with a bang by jumping handcuffed into a seven-foot can of cola, wearing a suit covered in hundreds of mintos. And what are you doing on the 4th, St. Louis? Whatever it is, be safe and have fun. What did you learn and how did it feel? Uh, okay, we'll do it again. <laughs> okay. Hand -built. It is hand-built. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> okay, that laugh is... <laughs> no. Okay, one more. That's good. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That's all kinds of messed up. Yeah, oh, phooey, I just lost my train of thought in my eyeballs. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> you look like you're a magician. Like, <laughs>